when David and Manish were batting, it looked like the team would reach 170. Did the team fall short of about 10, 20 runs? Uh, yeah, we would have liked to have got a little more, though, when we went out uh, at uh, one of the timeouts, it was, the boys said it was very difficult, it was, uh, the ball wasn't coming through, it was stopping in, in the surface, um, and we thought if we, we needed to put on a partnership to, uh, to at least get to 150, and hopefully if we batted uh, really well, we could get sort of uh, 160 to 165, so, um, yeah, we weren't too far off that, um, but I thought they bowled extremely well on, on that surface. Now the next one, how difficult is it to digest such a loss from a winning position? Did you expect such late fight back from the Royals? Uh, well, well, look, any any loss is uh, difficult, but one, obviously, that we, uh, we're in a good position uh, yeah, two thirds, three quarters of the way through the match. Um, yeah, always difficult uh, to do that, but we, we there was a lot of good things um, that we did throughout this match. We've just got to concentrate on uh, on those positives and uh, work on some of the negatives and make it better next time. Well, the next one is how difficult was it to bat in the middle? Did Manish or the others who played in did they chat about uh, the conditions with you? Um, and how challenging will it be to bat on these slower tracks as the tournament progresses? Uh, yeah, well, the messages were coming back from the two boys in the middle about how you know, that it was a little more difficult uh, than the wicket we played on here uh, you know, in, the, in the last game. Um, it wasn't quite coming on uh, as, as that wicket did. Um, yeah, look, if some of the wickets have been yeah, really good here, but on, on the whole, I think they're a little bit uh, slower than what the boys uh, would like. Um, but it's just about adjusting. Um, but, you know, it, it makes it different when, when a team bowls really well on, uh, on that surface. Over next one, Natarajan has been very good with the ball this tournament. He, even today, his first three overs were, were very good. What are your thoughts about his his performance and how has he been training? Yeah, Ely's forte is obviously, uh, you know, he bowls a good Yorker. He's able to get it in there more times than you know, most other bowlers. Um, and that's sort of shown in in the in his figures and his uh, economy rate. Uh, he's been good enough to pick up a few wickets as well. Uh, so no, he's been a, he's been one of the pluses for us from a bowling point of view. Um, you know, I think if he if he can keep improving, you know, he's got a he's got a big future. Staying on um, Trojans, as per stats, he's been the bowler who's bowled the most number of yorkers in in uh, this IPL. How has he been practicing for it? Is it the specific drills that he's going through? Uh, no, not really. I mean, some some bowlers uh, do that. We have, I mean, we have. We have um, sets and targets early on at practice where we might, uh, you know, we spend 20 minutes bowling some Yorkers and you know, mixing them up with good length balls. So we've, we've done that a few times, but I think right from the outset, uh, that's probably just a, a fairly natural thing for him that he's able to get it in there. Um, but he, yeah, he bowls it extremely well. So it's uh, it's a weapon for us. Now, uh, next one, would it be safe to say that I saw it what did it complacent after getting rid of the big guns of Farah. Sorry, say that again. Uh, would, it, would it be safe to say that, that, that your team got a little complacent after getting the wickets of the, the big guns of Farah, Smith, oh, Josh Butler? No, I don't think so. I, um, you know, I think towards the end there, they had a couple of guys that uh, batted extremely well. Um, yeah, under, under pressure, um, we probably failed to execute um, perfectly. Um, you know, it was, just seemed to be that one ball and over, um, you know, with three, four, five overs to go that went for a, for a boundary. Um, you know, if we maybe could have just taken a little bit more time and uh, thought a little more about it, um, you know, and, and save those boundaries, you know, the result may have been different. But that's the way that, you know, this game goes and all credit to them, they, uh, they batted real. Okay, well, lastly, what are the takeaways from this game before you, you guys come in for, for the next one? Um, well, I think it's mostly fairly positive. Um, yeah, you know, we uh, we put some runs on the board, and we were able to uh, defend it for most of the uh, yeah, for most of the uh, the, the innings. Um, as I said, that uh, we've just got to make sure that we uh, can execute um, our plans and the balls that we want to bowl um, at the right times. And uh, obviously, that's difficult under pressure sometimes. And on this occasion, uh, you know, the opposition were up to it.